What's up guys, Marty here, and I am. So I got a new piece of gear that I'm really excited to talk to you guys about, show you guys in the future. But this is my Hyperlite Mountain Gear Southwest 4400. The main body is about 70 liters, and you get about almost 10 extra liters worth in the pockets. Uh, the Southwest has all these solid pockets on it, where the Windrider has all mesh pockets and the junction has hard pockets on the side and a mesh pocket in the front. Uh, so really I was between the 3400 junction which has that you know again front mesh pocket and the Southwest 4400. I, the idea of having mesh pockets on the sides didn't really appeal to me just because in Michigan we have lots of growth everywhere I didn't want you know wanted to get ripped and snagged so chose this pack for a few reasons, which I'm going to go over and why I didn't pick another pack. So firstly, Hyperlite Mountain Gear, HMG, is supposed to be like the king when it comes to handling Dyneema. Their craftsmanship is supposed to be beyond compare and initial impressions is that standing up to be true. There's no loose threads. Everything is very well made, very well built. Um, I only got a few miles under the pack, but so far so good. Uh, secondly was cost. So these packs are not cheap. You're looking, you know, pretty close to 300 and up for any one of their packs and any of their other stuff, you know, which is pretty much all Dyneema is also very expensive as well. But I actually picked this up from REI with a 20% off coupon. So that saved me a fair chunk of change and they don't have all of their packs, but they do have a good amount of them. Uh, so this is the Hyperlite Mountain Gear in the tall. Uh, I think it comes in at like 2.25 ounces. So the pack comes with this Y strap at the top, so you can help cinch stuff down if you got stuff, or you can put stuff in here and pull it over. Uh, got an ice axe loop down here and lots of little straps everywhere so you can compress everything and tighten everything up. I will probably never use the pack till it's fullest capacity because 70 liters is insane. Um, and just to show you guys unrolling the main body, this pack is huge. So even though it's way too big for me, the reason I chose this is that the main body of the pack is actually a wider diameter than the 3400 or the 2400. Uh, my thinking there was I would be able to stuff all my gear in lower because it'd be spread out more instead of stacking it on top of itself and keeping that center of gravity nice and low. And so far that's proven to be true. I noticed I was able to roll up my pack liners more because there was more space at the top. Uh, the other reason that I got this pack is... There's a plastic sheet in here along with the frame. And what that does, it increases the carrying capacity by about 20 pounds, from 40 to 60 pounds. So I doubt that I'll ever get that high, but if I was to ever push that 40 pound mark, I didn't want to put too much stress on the pack and have stuff failing on me just because I overpacked it. But my main reason was that bigger, wider body and so I can get everything nice and low. I'm not too worried about, you know, the few ounces weight difference. Uh, yes, I like to be lightweight, but I'm not an ultralight person. But with the pack also came hip belt with pockets in here. Got a uh, port to put your drinking tube through. Uh, and yeah, it's in a little bit of a weird spot, but it is what it is. The chest strap does come with a buckle that has a whistle on it. Again, like I was saying, it comes with a hip belt. So the hip belt is made out of Dyneema as well, same as the pockets on the outside. And I noticed that there's like a little waterproof rubber coating on top of the zippers. So we'll see if the hip belt pockets are waterproof or water resistant. Uh, added my water bottle pouch from my old pack and added my shoulder strap pocket from my old pack as well. But the cushioning is not as thick and plush as my old pack. It's thinner and denser, but
but still very, very comfortable. Had no pain from the pack, didn't leave any bruises or any marks, anything like that. So the main body of the pack is ginormous. It's insanely tall. So I found what's easier when, you know, I was playing around with it. So under the Velcro, it's easier to like flip the material inside out. So, and then reach into your pack because otherwise it's a long way down into the bottom. So I found that's just what's easier for me. Um, but very, very big, very, very wide, which is what I was going for. And then to secure it, you just pull it all up, secure the Velcro at the top, and you just take small little rolls, keep folding it upon itself, and then you squeeze the air out. Roll some more, squeeze the air out, and another couple rolls. And then there's buckles on the sides that keep it all nice and tight and pulled down. So it packs down to the same size as the other packs, as you know, the 3400 or whatever. But you just get way more material. Uh, I recently got a bear can and I put was able to fit that inside the main body, like horizontally, so I didn't have to have that vertically in my pack. And I don't have to have that on the outside. So I like that a lot. My main thinking was the main body on my old pack was just a little bit too small. Me being a bigger guy, my stuff is bigger. And it was just taking up a little bit too much of the room. And I wasn't able to get things quite how I liked them. But so far I'm able to with this. We'll see how that goes. But you can see that everything has a lot of extra webbing to it and i doubt like i said i doubt i'll ever use that full 70 liter capacity or the 60 pound carrying capacity but yeah so far so good good first impression like i said i've only got a few miles under it and we'll test the waterproofness probably this weekend when i head up to manistee national forest it's supposed to rain so we'll see how that goes if you liked what you saw give me a thumbs up if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.